Hey guys, this is Pallavi and welcome back to my channel. So most of you might have already seen that the trailer of Frozen 2 was recently out. So I thought what better time could we have to recreate Elsa's iconic gowns. I mean, which girl hasn't dreamt of owning one of those Disney princess gowns? This is actually the first time I'm doing this kind of a project. So let me know what you guys think about the final look. Though this is not an exact copy of the original gown because I obviously cannot roam around the city looking like a Disney princess. So I toned it down a little bit so that I could actually wear it. So let's just get started with the video. Since I don't have a body form and this gown had to be perfectly fitted, I pinned it onto my top and took measurements directly on the fabric. Don't forget to always leave a 1 inch seam allowance from each side. For the neck, I'll be making a curved V kind of a cut similar to Elsa's gown. The same thing was not possible for the back so I took measurements instead and marked it on the fabric. The fabric that I am using here is a sky blue satin material. I'll be using around 3 meters of the cloth for both the top and the bottom. I'll also add a blue net at the bottom to make it look similar to Elsa's gown. I cut out two pieces of each, the front and the back part for the lining. I use the same material for the lining but you can use any other material of the same color. I'll be cutting the back piece in two parts. So in total, I will have four pieces for the back and two for the front. At first, I will stitch the fabric with the lining only from the top. I also added the darts that I had measured initially when I took the markings. So I have stitched up both the front and the back parts. I will now add one more stitch right up the edge to make the seam more crisp and neat. I will do this for both the front and the back halves. Once done, I will attach the back pieces to the front on both the sides. I'll be making a long gathered skirt with a slit for the bottom. To gather my skirt, I just used the longest stitch on my machine and gathered it to fit my waist. Once I am sure of how much gather I need to have in the skirt, I stitched over it leaving around 2 inches of the fabric at the top. This extra fabric would be used to attach the additional net. I will be using the same technique to gather the net that I followed for the skirt till it is of the same length as that of the skirt and then I will attach both of these together. I had a really tough time stitching these two together as the fabric was slipping away continuously. Using lots and lots of pins helped to secure the fabric better and makes the job a little easier. I chopped off the additional fabric sticking out from the back pieces and attached the skirt to the top. For this I first decided the point where I would have my slit and started attaching the skirt from that point. I also stitched the net to the skirt near the opening of the slit and cut off the additional net at the bottom. I decided to wear it at this point of time, mainly to mark the position of the slit and to check for any loose fittings. I marked my slit position just above my right knee and also marked out some places where I felt the fitting was a little loose. For the sleeves and the neck, I will be using the same net that I used for the skirt. The sleeves will be 3 quarters of a sleeve, so I cut out two net pieces according to my measurements and mark the position where I will stitch them. Once done, I tried them on and they fitted fine, so I attached them to the dress using some zigzag stitches. I 
I'll finally attach some net near the neck and around the sleeves that I just added and make it an off shoulder dress and we're finally done with the dress. Tag me on Instagram if you were able to recreate this gown or any other Disney princess gowns. If you have stayed this far, I would presume that you did like this video. So please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'll link my social media accounts down in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!